don't be scared. The radiation is all around. The radiation will make you frown. The radiation is all in town. The radiation never goes down. So you can see over there, that's Turkey Point. This is about the closest that you can see it from the Biscayne National Park Trail. You do see some film in the water, some white film. It looks pretty barren over at these parts. Look at this stuff. Some cereal. It's supposed to be good for you. Did you try it? I'm not going to try it. You try it. I'm not going to try it. Let's get Mikey. Yeah. He won't need it. He hates everything. He likes it! Hey, Mikey! Did you take the treaty rules about 215 times above normal? When you bring life home, don't tell the kids it's one of those nutritional cereals you've been trying to get them to eat. Just an open air measurement, seems pretty good. Probably my next step is... They say that the leak took place south of the plant. Southwest, they said where the tree moved. So I'm going to check below the canal system, southwest, and see uh, what kind of readings we pick up over there. Let's just get a floor measurement of some of this vegetation. About 30. Fishing next to a nuclear plant. I do see about a 20 point increase sometimes on the floor compared to the measurement. So there could be some lingering effects there. I'm gonna take that walk back. Just something to ponder. Where the tritium go. Okay, you see here? It's about 18 to 28 in the air sample but when you get closer to the floor you see it starts to jump up some 34 this is a pretty murky mangrove forest by turkey point <clears throat> not a place you really want to be walking in i do see some type of film or foam on top of the water so i don't know what that could be but it's a pretty funky environment to be in. You don't want to be walking through there. Let's get a look at this angle. Now, I do see some bugs around. I saw a few butterflies. So there's life out here for sure. It's not like life has all disappeared. But, like I said, I'm getting about 20, 25 counts more when I put the Geiger counter on the ground compared to the air measurement. So, now I'm going to take a trip out to closer to the ocean and see uh, what we find. Not a neon, but, um, yeah, it's kind of got that, <laughs> I see what you're saying, like a neon. What? We just kill in time before we go and do an estimate. Oh, sweet. Yeah, a Jenna Mangata. Particles, really fine, shiny particles in this puddle I found here. Looks like it dry, is drying up. And... So it is jumping up a little bit compared to the air. Whatever that is. Thought you might be interested to see what the radiation detections I'm getting off of this place where a lot of fish gets grilled. So you see it's uh, open air count 28 CPM. So I was able to find a grill that's hot. Hot fish grilled on this grill right here. 
And looks like the counts I saw get to is about 65 is the high so far. So open air was about 28. See, I'm getting about 72. Look at that. That's the highest so far I've gotten on this whole expedition, 80. So that means that the fish that are grilled here are hot. No doubt about it, because open air is about 28, you go to 84, you have the bioaccumulation taking effect. If they wait a gauge for CCM-137 detection, which is only one of several hundreds of other isotopes that are likely present. So, disturbing. I did see some nice looking fish that some people caught, but you know, I wouldn't eat them. There you go. Take care. Subscribe to our channel so our latest clips always come directly to you. Also, check out our playlist and be sure to like and share our videos with your friends. So have fun and thank you for spreading the love.